very good. Okay, so block search, or let's say my user info is okay, then the code. Uh, so the code was wrong with it. So first thing, see if we have any full width or stuff. No full width. We have some a stupid padding top of 15 pixel. We don't need it. Uh, let's go to my block card. CSS block card. Block card. Uh, yep. Remove this one. Padding top. Then we go to where something is wrong with other blocks, I guess, because this one looks perfect. Ah, this one got more padding than it should be. Good. Right here, block card, line 31. Change this. Setting style. And it's empty, so let's try added product to the card and see how it will look like. Okay, thank you. And we need to change a bit about this. Okay, so this class that uh, shopping cart, we need to change the top condition, the top rule to to 40 or maybe to 15. If I do this, okay, pretty much what I'm looking for. This should be 15. Yes, 50, not 15. <laughs> okay, properly good. Mm. And now we need to place this logo. Or before that, we I think the order is not exactly what we're looking for. So we have uh, the loop and the user info, then the cart. Oh, we need to try to, to change position between these two. Again, in my position, display top on app. Then permit position of the card, then the search engine. What is this? Red up, refresh. And exactly what I'm looking for. Well, it still needs some work here. We need to display, when I hover this, we need to display the input field. So it may be done with GS because we don't need to have that, you know, dropping down CSS. Uh, hover effect uh, so I may be I will do this I will do this later but now I would like to find oh I should need to find a solution to display the the logo right here in the center of my let's say the top header menu but before that it's uh, clear that I need some more work here because it's not really that beautiful and uh, the border is pretty ugly so okay actually we have a border yeah we don't have it on the right but I don't like it so let me try to add a, a topic rule like phone weight 100 Important. Why well, is not right walking? I will not bother myself. So again, guys, uh, this is a learning tutorial. So we don't need, we don't looking for perfections right now. Uh, the important part, I guess, is to understand how these things work and how to make them, uh, you know, uh, how to change and how to, to understand the methodology of PrestaShop themes. So, moving to 
your logo your logo how to display this guy right here so option one is to create a new model that generate or render a block that can be integrated and hook it right here which is not the case I will not do this because we are not that advanced user yet so if I do it you will not understand too much things option two is to play let's say a dirty game with CSS and uh, some margin some negative margin to uh, properly display the logo in the right place so to do that we need firstly to go let's close all these guys here yeah? close all then we need to remove the block your logo or the, the, the logo block from the header then place it right here uh, let's say I will change the position of the logo from this place to this place to, the, to do that we need to go to my again my IDE theme folder header.tpl looking for this plane app so this is this plane app I'm looking for my logo so this is it I will pick I will copy actually this block scroll up to the display nav which is this one the container the row then let's paste this one here if I refresh now ok it's <laughs> it's de n'importe quoi comme like the French guy said but we need firstly I need to we need to change the color of the logo you know then place it so changing is not my business right now but I will do change the position so this is my div logo first of all we need to give it an absolute position position absolute okay then a margin zero auto which is not the case because we are an absolute um, uh, we are an absolute position so to do that we need to do left zero and right zero um, I mean margin left should be working here yeah? margin right zero it's not the case ah uh, yeah with hundred percent and text align center okay text align center now I think we need to move working with this guy so position again relative with hundred percent text align center okay this is the bad guy uh, did we have any float left we don't need this to be displayed as a block display inherit uh, so I guess I put a lot of a junk here can remove this margin again this one this one too uh, the width 100% is what we need then uh, so let's remove the padding zero and the margin should be zero okay the margin can keep it not problem for me then the A and for the image I will give it a height of let's say 15 pixel maybe less a width of 10% and let's give it a little bit of margin top 10 pixel zero maybe you can reduce the height the height of 36 or height of 15 so again is not exactly what we are looking for but I'm giving you the main idea how things should be should be done so let's go to my uh, now I can walk on global.css which you mean yeah, like the name it's a global file using by the whole system we're not working with any uh, with any module as such so we need to get this block logo again uh, also we, not, we need to be sure that we can click through oops I 
think I have a problem here. Because, um, yeah, it's not be, it's not actually a problem. I will show you how to solve it after I save these uh, styles. Page ref position two two and the image. So this image should be a header logo responsive image to set up properly things. take this style. Okay, let's refresh see first okay all in place now let's fix this issue because the we the block is overreading or let's say overlapping overlapping uh, is it, you know it's become a bar it, it's hot it's heating you know if I help you can understand properly so to fix that only we need to get back to my here dot cpl then change this guy above or oh, after yeah and now if I hover it should be okay I think I did another mistake. This one should be kept above. Then, so my English is okay, Euro is okay, my account is not okay, this one is properly okay. What's wrong with my account? My account drop down, display, I will display now. We are missing another one, alright? Should be the same out so we need to add some z index to have things properly set up so block user on photo css my drop down and z index should be like 999 what let's give it another one things right be drop down and there we go okay pretty good uh, we almost get what you not really perfect but you get the idea you know so we have this hover effects and uh, we need to finish this one so in the coming tutorial we will show you, uh, we will move to the rest for the search engine. We need to change this to be visible when I click there. So firstly, we need to, what exactly? We need to use JS because, uh, because CSS it will just destroy everything. Uh, we need to get back to, to my search. search top the TPL then I will put this into a div and I'll call this and actually I'll give it a, an ID of search top wrapper okay and um, it will be hidden then we need to go to my JS file again into inside all under my theme then looking for global.js because this is style that will be used all along the, the pages. Actually, I can work with JS model then block search, but I don't want to change things right there um, because uh, there's some pre default style uh, function and so on. But um, for me, I prefer working with uh, the global.js. So, where's global? Global.js. And the main idea is when I click, um, let's track this. When I click right here, I should have some pop-up showing up the, the input field. You know, this is the main idea. So let's work here. Add the command uh, script for displaying the search input. Search input. Okay. 
pretty good. So firstly we need to set dollar like and we need to get the idea over the ID of the or all the class of that button. So we are working on normal uh, the normal CSS let's say or normal CSS and JavaScript, nothing related to PrestaShop. But here I would like to change something else. I, I would like to assign an ID like search trigger. So I will tell the system when I click the uh, point on and on uh, you need to be on I guess on jQuery 1.2 and, uh, and above to get this uh, working well on or live so click we need to have an anonymous function then let's test if everything is okay console.log or just use alert alert okay refresh uh, console to see if there is any so this is a for full not problem and I click okay properly good so <coughs> You see, there's another thing to do. We need to have just a trigger right here to show the. Okay, okay, okay. Because in default, okay, let's. Uh, I'll put it. So I decided to change a bit about my idea. So it, this button should be only a trigger for the input. Then after displaying this, we need to have another button, another submit button to, to send the changes. Input. That's the button number one, and that's the button number two. And this one should be hidden. Almost all the block is hidden here. Back to my global DGS, and we have alert. So option number one is to stop propagation. Stop or prevent default yes we need to cancel the default action we don't not we don't want to reform or to move we don't want not I I think I'm getting tired uh, simply I do not I do not want to be transferred to another page when I click here so let's get back to my home page now this one the value space moved okay buddy function we need to assign the E that things go well and if I click nothing happened because I did prevent the action or the default uh, the default action then we need to get this one I did okay this is a mistake by the way because I have a class column hidden not an ID refresh should be gone good then now okay then now back to my JS then when I click there just uh, I will do toggle class toggle Okay, I'm sorry. Some for some reason the recording stopped, but uh, I did not do too much things after that. So I only finished this part. So uh, let me show you the code. Firstly, I created some JS. Well, before that, I created. Uh, I added a, cl a, a, a clickable, let's say, I uh, to close uh, the field or the, the search engine block. Uh, then uh, I moved to GS. I created a trigger uh, action when I click uh, on this button here. I, it display me this uh, overall, let's say, uh, search engine or search input. Then 
when I type it, it's okay. This is the default Presta Shop functionality. Uh, also, I added the script to to this button to hide um, the the display form or search form, and this is the script. So nothing big that you missed.